One such delicious cookie is the Pfeffernus, which translates to pepper nut, referring to the pinch of black pepper added to the dough for one delicious cookie. And so we're gonna start with the drying ingredients first, sifting or whisking our flour. Measure two and a quarter cups of all-purpose unbleached flour into a large bowl. Don't forget the quarter cup. And your spices. A quarter of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Three quarters of a teaspoon of fresh cinnamon ground. One. These are quarter teaspoon measures. And, oh, delicious ground cloves. A quarter of a teaspoon. Cloves are very strong, so use them sparingly. And a half a teaspoon of allspice. Allspice also rather strong, but very delicious. A quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. And about a quarter of a teaspoon, a little less than a half of a large nutmeg grated. Oh, the fragrance is amazing. So all those spices do add a tremendous amount of flavor to the dry ingredients. Now cream one stick of butter with three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. And all these dark, light brown, dark brown sugar has to be packed. That's the correct way to measure. And then we also have to add one quarter of a cup of unsulfured molasses. Now, to make the molasses come out of the cup measure, just spray with vegetable spray the interior and measure your quarter of a cup. That vegetable spray does magical things. It just lets the sticky, sticky syrup kind of fall right out of the glass cup. See how easy that is? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. One egg. So now add your dry ingredients. And then I'll show you how to shape the cookies. This is such a wonderful, pungent, spicy smell, even before the cookies are baking. So using a one teaspoon size scoop, you have to have all different sizes of these scoops in your kitchen because it really helps get uniform size cookies. Roll those scoops into round, even balls. You're gonna get three trays of cookies from one recipe, about 60 cookies. And once you have all the cookies ready, pop them right into the 350 degree oven for 15 minutes. So now to glaze these lovely Pfeffernus cookies. That's the cookie. It looks very plain like this. So let's embellish it a little bit. Three and a half cups of confectioner's sugar with a third of a cup of whole milk. Whisk that together. We want a thick glaze so that the cookies are completely enrobed with a white frosting. Thus the whisk. And a quarter of a teaspoon of Kirsch. Just in the glaze. And so just dip and lift. And that looks perfect. Now a lot of these cookies are served in Austria all during the year, but especially at holiday time. These spice cookies are so warming. Now while the cookies are still wet, you can sprinkle the tops just a few little pieces of pink peppercorns will continue to enliven the taste of these spice cookies, but they must be applied while the glaze is still wet. And pink peppercorns actually aren't peppercorns. They're the berries of an unrelated tree. They're mildly sweet and aromatic, and they don't contribute a lot of flavor, but they are very fragrant. And they do smell a lot like peppercorns. 
Now on the dry cookies, you can either just leave them plain like that, or if you like, paint them with a little bit of this gold luster. Add a, about a half a teaspoon of Kirschwasser. And what you're doing is just making a gold coloring for embellishment. If you're an artist, you could paint something on each cookie, but you can just put stripes on the cookie too. It should be pretty and sort of odd little modern art. You could make crosses on the tops of your cookies, which I think are very pretty. They just look a little bit glistening and beautiful. Now embellish as much as you want or as little as you want, but sometimes it's those finishing touches that really just takes the cookies from ordinary to extraordinary. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode of Martha Bakes. <laughs>